Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? Well, what we have here, we take the log on both sides, that is, we have log 9 raised to power x equals to log 60 here. The next step here, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, the same thing as p log m. That is what we have here becomes x log 9 equals to log 60 here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies here log 9 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 60 over log 9 then from what we have here we can write 60 as 3 times 20 which implies we have x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9 then from what we have here this follows from the law of logarithm when we have log a times b, which can be written as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 3 plus log 20, then over log 9. And from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9. And also here, we can also rewrite 20 as 4 times 5, which implies we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Then, yeah, this also follows the law of log ring. And we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. Then also here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. The next step here, we can express 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 square, and also 9 as 3 times 3, which is 3 square. At this, what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared and plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then here we apply the power law of logarithm. Here three, 2 comes here also from here, then here, and also here. And we have x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 then plus log 5 over 2 log 3 that is next step here log 3 cancel each other we have 1 over 2 left that is x equals to 1 over 2 plus here 2 cancel each other we have log 2 over log 3 left then plus here we can write this as 1 over 2 multiplied by log 5 over log 3. Then 
we apply change of base here when we have log a over log b this is the same thing as log a to base b as this all we have becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3 then here as well we can bring this together as one fraction as this we have x equals to SCM here, that's 2. Then here we have 1, then plus. Here becomes 2 log 2 base 3. Then plus, here we have log 5 base 3. At this, we have the value of x here as 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is. We substitute the value of x here, it is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side that is here we can express 9 as 3 square which is raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 here then here we have this power multiplies and two here cancel each other. We are left with three raised to power one plus two log two is three plus log five is three. This is equal to sixty on this side. Then here this four is all being this is when we have a raised to power m plus n. This same thing as a raised to power m and a raised to power n. That is. Here we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And 3 raised to power 1, same thing as 3. Then times here, we can revise this 2 from power log. And we have 3 raised to power log 2 square base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? This here, we have 3 times 3 raised to power log 2 squared as 4 is 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 is 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And here, this follows now we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. But this, what we have here becomes. 3 times 4 and times 5. Is it equals to 60 on this side? At this 3 times 4, 12. And 12 times 5, 60. Which is equal to 60 from here. Then we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next slide and bye for now.